Joining us now on the phone is President Donald Trump. Mr. President, I know that the honor of his life came from you and what that Medal of Freedom meant to him. I know the behind the scenes story. I know I know who made the first call to me anyway was Matt Drudge and, and Jared Kushner. And um, and I know you made your decision in, with Melania there in about five seconds, and you said that's a great idea. Tell us about it. Well, it was an idea that we had that a lot of people suggested to me, frankly, a lot of great uh, people of our country, largely Republicans. It was an amazing night because the Republicans went wild and the Democrats sat there, but they all respected Rush. And I think it was, you know, one of the great honors of his life, Presidential Medal of Freedom. It's a big deal. And he uh, he was very honored by it. And he was a great gentleman. Just like Mark said, I, I listened to Mark. And, you know, Mark is so terrific. But, you know, he said he's special. And Rush was really special. He was a very special guy. And you said irreplaceable. And it's true. He's irreplaceable. You know, I, I remember discussions that we would have. I, I'd often ask you, are you, if you come on my radio show or on 600 stations, and you would always ask me about, well, the, why are radio numbers so massive? You know, Rush had right. 21 million-plus listeners, and you would always ask me about Rush. And, and I'd explain it to you, and you didn't, you never, for, for a while, I don't think you've, and I knew you knew radio because you used to go on Howard Stern. You would come on my radio show years and years ago. And um, but you were surprised that there wasn't this competitive thing going on. And I, I, I kept telling you, there's no competition. There's nobody in his league. Well, that's right. You did say that. And uh, radio's big stuff. And he made it that way. He he was the uh, he was the king. And by the way, congratulations because. I looked at some numbers. You do real well on radio, but you would be the first one to say. And you know, he was there first, and he was a brilliant guy, uh, just a totally brilliant guy. And he could do things that a lot of people couldn't do. He could just talk for three hours, no phone calls, no anything, just talk, and everybody found it spellbinding. So it was uh, it was an honor to know him. I, I got to know him uh, right after coming down the escalator with Melania. Uh, he was he was there right from the beginning, like you. you. You know, you were so great, and Rush was so great, and it was uh, it was something very special to know him. Very it's, very terrific man. You know, there's this a side of you that I know a lot of Americans don't know, and I know many people that this story holds true for, and I know in the case of Rush, and when Rush had his diagnosis. A little over a year ago, uh, I knew you were calling him regularly, minimum of once a month, often much more than that. And you would always be checking in with him. How are you feeling? How are the treatments? How's everything going? And I'm, I know you talk to him a lot. What were those conversations like? Well, it was interesting because I didn't know Rush at all, as you know. I didn't know him at all until I had gotten word that from somebody that Rush was with us all the way. He was, you know, we have this guy who was so big on radio. I, I knew a lot about Rush, but I didn't know him. And he was with me all the way, and it was uh, sort of incredible. I got to know him after that, and uh, he was much different, actually. You know, when you were, he was a very, very, um, uh, I wouldn't say not outgoing, but he was very, very warm. He was just a very warm person. And, and, you know, when people got to know him, I loved playing golf with Rush. You know, he's a, I used to call him the bull because he was actually a very strong guy, physically very strong guy. And he hit the ball a long way. When he hit it, he went a long way. And, uh, but you got to know him, and, and, he, and he loved this country, and he loved his wife uh, because Catherine did. She was, she was fantastic, you know, the job. But she had a, this last uh, period of time, which you know better than – Almost anybody. This last period of time was rough, very rough for him, very very rough for him. So he really, he really adored her. You know, it, it's interesting on on Russia's show today, and I was listening um, before I began my radio program, and 
They played a segment of Rush, and in that segment, he said, if you took tapes of him when he started in 1988 in syndication, again, nobody thought that, that anyone can syndicate during the daytime and be successful, and, and he proved all the naysayers right. wrong. And if you look at where he stood, conservative justices, liberty, freedom, less government intrusion, intrusion less regulation, less taxes, lower taxes, yeah. energy independence, right. secure borders, uh, choice in schools, the Second Amendment, free and fair trade, peace through strength. Sound familiar? Because that's your agenda. Yeah. That's what you did. He was right there. He understood it. He got it. And he's been that way for a long time. You know, he hasn't been somebody that's changed. He didn't go from being a liberal to being a conservative. I mean, he was there from the beginning, and uh, he hasn't changed. His views hadn't changed very much. And his audience, as you know better than probably anybody, the loyalty of his audience was just incredible, was staggering. Nobody had uh, seen anything like it. So he was just a very special guy, and he's going to be missed by uh, by you and by me and and by, as you said, 21 million people, and I guess a lot more than that even. Uh, he'll be missed by a lot of people. And, and millions, the most loyal audience, generations. Uh, your own Kaylee McEnany, I mentioned earlier, tweeted that, you know, she was a rush baby. Her dad would be listening in the car. And it, and it shaped her viewpoint to conservatism. Uh, and he did right. that for so many of us and so many around the country. Um, I, I want to thank you. Um, I appreciate you being on the program. I know I, I, I read your statement the other day, and I know you said in the, in the months ahead you have a lot you want to tell us, and we won't do it tonight, obviously, but when that, when that time comes, we're looking forward to hearing what your future plans are and um, what you are planning to do. Uh, I have a funny feeling we're going to hear a lot more from Donald Trump. Are my instincts correct? Well, there's a lot to talk about, and uh, our country is a great place, and we're going to make it even greater, as the expression goes. But uh, we have a lot to talk about. But today's all about Rush, don't you think? And he, yeah. uh, I don't know, what he left behind, and uh, he'll never be forgotten. He's one of the people who will not be forgotten. Big impact. Great guy. Mr. President, we always appreciate you being with us. Thank you for your time tonight. Thank you very much, John.